Hello and welcome to Friday. Oh boy. Uh, today I kind of did something that was a childhood dream of mine. Uh, recently, I completed Professor Oak's challenge. Um, I'm not so sure if I've talked about it since I officially, unofficially beat it uh, the other day when I um, had just finished right before uh, the was it the Elite Four? I can't remember what exactly uh, where we last left off, but I remember um, I had collected all the badges and I did everything up until the Elite Four, I believe. That's where we left off. So since then, I did pretty much everything in the post game, catching everything. Um, I didn't. I'm not so sure if I um, hit up every trainer. Um, but I did most things in the post game. I need to go through like every island systematically and like see uh, in the Sevy Island and see what can be done there. So um, in the interim, while well, not interim. It's just like I've I've caught every Pokemon. I've done everything I can, except catch all the legendaries, which would leave Mewtwo, uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres and the uh, roaming Pokemon, which in my case is Suicune. So, uh, this means it's as good a time as any to actually do something that I couldn't have done at any point in history, really. Up until, you know, only like... Well, I guess more recently, I could have, like, you know, in recent history, I could have done it. But uh, because I was playing on this Love It device, um, I have access to some tools that I didn't have access to traditionally. Meaning, I can just edit the save, do some hacking, and have some fun with that. There's also the fact that people have been hard at work making reproductions of old generation three events now the pokemon community is super super neat i need to go actually like find some cool places to hang out in that but um they've been hard at work trying to preserve everything that means that um a lot of the generation three event pokemon generation four and generation five pokemon have been actually preserved through some means or another you can definitely like download and run some uh, distribution carts that w weren't like ever meant for distribution and some fan-made ones. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Gopier, I think, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, had released two videos, one where they recreated the event distributions for um, the Mystic Ticket and the Aurora Ticket, which are super, super neat. If you don't know anything about that, um, they're how you get legendary mythical Pokemon in these games. Those Pokemon being, um, with the Aurora Ticket, you get Deoxys, and the Mystic Ticket, you get Ho-Oh and Lugia. And, like, you can, like, as a kid looking these things up on YouTube and just being like, oh my god, that's so cool, how do you do this? And it's like people do through glitches, people do through hacking. And there were rarely events for these things, like, and by the time, you know, I was actually, like, YouTube was actually big, um, you know, gen Generation 3 was kind of out of fashion. YouTube started in, what, 2005? Generation 3 was 2004, 2005-ish, I believe, and then, um, I feel like, like, Diamond and Pearl was, like, 2007, and that's when YouTube really started hitting big, so that's when you have all this, and, you know, emulation is a whole thing, which, uh, gets, it's a whole nother thing, but, uh, because of how awesome the community is and how ins like incredible this is they have preserved some old rom files that have 
been spread around online, which is great, but also that means that I have the ability to use that and boot it up on my own and use those distribution carts for a game that I've owned for, at this point, like almost 20 years. So let's take a look at what I've done. There were a lot of distributions for Pokemon um, Generation 3, and probably even more as the generations went on. But luckily for me, all of these are archived online on Bulbapedia, and I went through and pretty much did all of them. So here are, and the brightness is just too high. Let's go. There we go. So here is like everything that I just did moments ago. I have Mew, Celebi, Deoxys, and Jirachi. So a bunch of those. Then there was like a top 20 distribution, uh, Journey Across America. So I gave myself all of those distribution Pokemon, which were Raikou, Entei, Suicune, Umbreon, Espeon, the birds, and Latios, Latias. And then if we go here, uh, the top 20 also included uh, Bulbasaur, Blastoise, Charizard, Pikachu, Absol, um, Blaziken, Typhlosion, Alakazam, Dragonite, Tyranitar. This is Rocks Matang. And then you'll see a bunch of Gloom, which were um, me testing out another distribution cart, which gives you apparently a random Pokemon every time. Um, so that's a whole thing. But uh, we also have some eggs, which have Pokemon who give you, who have learned the uh, move Wish, which isn't normally available. So uh, that's all of the event Pokemon. But then you have the event distributions, which were Pokemon that were only available through the ticket. Uh, if you're playing Emerald, you also have access to the old sea map, which we'll talk about in just a tiny bit. But once you head up Vermilion, you can see that you have access to um, Naval Rock and but Birth Island. Yeah, so that's super neat seeing this on actual hardware. So we have that. Uh, then we go here. And you see High Speed 10. Normally it's High Speed 7. So we go to Naval Rock. We encounter Ho-Oh, we encounter Lugia, uh, we go off to um, Birth Island at high speed 12, which is super, super cool, just seeing like that being double digits. And then um, we are here at Birth Island doing this puzzle, which took, which I had to look up how to do because it was uh, weird. Uh, but we did that and then we encounter Deoxys. I believe that's everything, yeah. It's just... Seeing these, like... Seeing these events on an actual cartridge is insane. And I never thought I'd have the ability to do this, but because, you know, everything is kind of really, like, worked out in the community all these have been preserved some way or another it's super neat and i'm happy that i'm able to play some of these events uh and they are not lost the time so that's awesome we also have me who started this yesterday and i was yesterday it was either yeah yeah, yeah it was yesterday started this yesterday and um working on this when I was on the elliptical today, but I picked up Pokemon Emerald and um, starting Professor Oak's challenge in that. At the moment I have like 2 hours and 10 minutes clocked in here and uh, 16 Pokemon already, so it's gonna be fun. Um, it's really really enjoyable and I'm glad to uh, take this journey once again in Emerald. Um, I'm not so sure how much time it's going to take, but um, I really, really can't wait to hit up the old sea map in this game and actually see that in person catch me here. It's going to be super cool. I'll leave links to the videos down below where I got these distribution ROMs and uh, 
that those videos have links to the GitHub page in them, so feel free to hit those up and check them out. It's very neat, and uh, you know, that's what I'm gonna call it for today. Thank y'all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, later.